First at six, we now know the names of seven of the eight people who were killed in that massive pileup along I-55 Monday morning. You can see them right now on your screen. The youngest person to lose their life, just six years old. Yesterday, WDSU spoke with those who knew the boy and his father well. Of course, all the victims' families are still grieving tonight. And another new development here. Southbound lanes of I-55 are now open to drivers. WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor is live near the scene of the crash with progress on the inspections. Shay. So, and Gina, good, good evening to you. Yeah, DOTD was, was able to open those southbound lanes headed across I-55 earlier this morning. The only portion still closed for drivers heading south is about 500 or so feet near the crash site. That's where officials are still doing some work. Meanwhile, I-55 headed northbound is still closed until further notice. We've been inspecting the damage and cleaning up and there was considerable damage from the fire. So um, uh, we've got to make sure the structure can support traffic or we've got to make repairs. WDSU brought questions about the condition of I-55 straight to the secretary of Louisiana DOTD. While southbound lanes are open following Monday's pileup that left eight people dead, Secretary Eric Calavota says more work needs to be done northbound including repairs to railings and safety barriers. Right now, there's no time frame on when those inspections will be complete. Southbound was not damaged as badly as northbound, so we're still evaluating the northbound uh, direction. So as our uh, teams are out there inspecting, as they find things, it might slow them down. It might take a little bit longer as they continue to investigate the damage on this bridge. Driver Anna Larkin says she was caught up in all the traffic following the pileups along the interstate as she was on her way to bring her grandson to preschool. I don't like to dwell on what ifs, but I, I did think to myself, what if I had been just a minute or two sooner? I'd have been right up the road where it happened at it. While she and other drivers are breathing a small sigh of relief with southbound I-55 reopened. She says she can't help but continue to grieve for all the lives lost and their families. And I pray for them every day that that they manage to put all of this behind them and recover from whatever happened to them because a lot of people will hurt. Meanwhile, the secretary of DOTD tells me that they are pretty much looking into the cause of the pileup that's still under investigation, as well as ways to improve safety along I-55 and those types of conditions that were experienced on Monday in preventing this type of tragedy from happening again. Reporting live from near I-55, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.